animal fighting, pitting one animal against the other in blood sport is a cruel and illegal act. It is tied to gambling, gang activity, alcohol abuse, firearms, drugs, animal abuse, and violence against women and children. In the United States, it typically involves dogfighting and cockfighting. Dogfighting was outlawed in the United States in 1977, and in 2007, the federal government added to the law by forbidding and providing felony penalties for the transport of animals for fighting purposes. However, the sadistic activity continues. Over 250,000 pit bulls are directly maimed or killed each year from it. Pit bulls, the breed of choice for dogfighters, actually gets its name from the pit they fight in. They are bred and trained to fight each other for gambling and entertainment. Conditioning and training include the use of steroids and narcotic drugs to increase the animal's muscle mass and aggression. Young dogs are tested by having them fight other ones. Those that do not like to fight are killed. Stolen pets are used as bait dogs for these purposes. Starvation, isolation, and physical abuse are also methods. It is not unusual to find dogs with scarred necks as the result of being pulled behind cars to build stamina. Also, poison is sometimes put on their coats for cheating purposes and their ears and tails cut. Injuries at these events are severe and the dogs often die of blood loss, infection, execution, and dehydration. The losing dog is usually executed by hanging, drowning, or electrocution. This brutal sport was brought to light by the Michael Vick trial. Michael Vick, the NFL star, was ordered to serve 23 months for owning and operating Bad News Kennels on property he purchased for this purpose in Virginia. He and his trainers use suspended tires, treadmills, and stray animals for conditioning. He admitted to killing 80 dogs by drowning and hanging because they failed to show enough willingness to fight when tested against older dogs. Michael Vick stated that the first time he seen the sport was as a youth where he grew up. Street fighting is a major component of urban crime. It is believed that tens of thousands of people in the United States are involved in dogfighting and over 1,000 arrests have been made between 2003 and 2008. Money plays a significant role in the attraction of dogfighting, with more than $500,000 seized in major raids. Cockfighting is also cruel and lucrative. At an event to tighten cockfighting laws, representatives from the Humane Society of the United States revealed a video created by undercover investigators. It showed birds severely injured in battle only stopping when mortally wounded. These birds were then violently clubbed to death by their handlers as punishment. A press release from the United States Drug Enforcement Agency stated that cockfights and pit bull fights are used as a networking tool for drug traffickers and reported on their investigation called Operation Foul Play. Pedro Mendez Ramos and 17 others were indicted on drug trafficking, firearms charges, and money laundering. Ramos owned over 300 game cocks and 60 pit bulls. He utilized these illegal fighting events as a networking tool for recruitment and drug transport. What is being done to thwart animal fighting? In 2006, the Humane Society launched the End Dogfighting Campaign that began in Chicago. In 2010, it expanded with a grant from the Philadelphia Eagles. The purpose is to reach at-risk youth and divert them away from dogfighting. They hold awareness events, provide free pit bull training classes in urban neighborhoods, and recruit anti-dogfighting advocates who speak at schools about humane animal treatment. 
Also, in 2010, the nation's first criminal dogfighting DNA database was established through the joint efforts of several animal protection agencies and maintained at the University of California. The purpose of Canine CODIS is to help law enforcement investigate and prosecute dog fighting cases. It is to be used as another tool to aid in the elimination of dog fighting. The 400 original blood samples were collected from dogs seized in 2009 from the nation's biggest dog fighting raid. This year, Representatives Tom Marino and Betty Sutton introduced bipartisan federal legislation titled the Animal Fighting Spectator Prohibition Act of 2011, otherwise known as H.R. 2492, which would prohibit attendance at animal fights. It would create misdemeanor penalties against convicted spectators and felonies for adults responsible for spectators who are children. What can we do to stop this problem? Support H.R. 2492 and give law enforcement the necessary tools to help vanquish this blood sport. Spectators can pay thousands of dollars in admission fees and bets which generates the majority of the revenue. Without this money, these fights would not occur. Also, the spectators provide cover for the animal fighters, making it harder for law enforcement, especially when the spectators are also participants. Public safety is also an issue. Cockfighting was linked to many deaths in Asia from bird flu and to an outbreak that cost U.S. taxpayers more than $200 million. The additional penalties for bringing children to these events is also important. They are exposed to gruesome and barbaric scenes that are viewed as acceptable entertainment. It promotes violence and insensitivity. Psychiatrists at the Menninger Foundation found that a history of cruelty to animals in childhood leads to aggressive behavior toward other humans. We must stop the cycle of violence and lend our voices to the hundreds of thousands of animals abused and forced into these fights to the death simply for greed and entertainment by supporting the Animal Fighting Spectator Prohibition Act of 2011.